Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought that I would do an updated brow tutorial. I usually try to um, show my brows at the beginning uh, when I'm doing a makeup look. I try to, I usually will just kind of like speed through, just kind of show you the products that I'm using. The products that I'm using have not really changed from the original brow tutorial that I put up, but it's further down in my videos. And I thought that I would just do um, an updated one or what I'm currently doing because I did add one product to my brow. So I thought we would go ahead and get started. And like always, I am going to be um, listing the products that I use and then I'll show them on screen. Uh, where, I had all this stuff ready. I had all this stuff ready. Where, you can see this mess. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I have everything ready that I am going to use. Now, you don't have to use these exact products. Is my thing on? Yeah, you don't have to use these exact products because they are, there are um, definitely alternatives to this. So there are things that you can get to use to get this exact same look at Walgreens or CVS or Target or what have you. So you don't have to use these exact same products. So this is just what I like to use and what I found that works for me. Okay, so that means what? That means I have to bring you in closer. So how is everybody doing? Like, how are you guys doing with not doing? Are you making the most of your time? Are you using it as a vacation? Are you, you, you know, are you using it as, as a time to just kind of mentally like a transformer? Like, are you using this time for mental health? Um, are you using this time to work out? I'm not. I should. But I'm not. But I probably Hopefully I will. I should. I mean, I see everybody doing it, but anyway, I'm kind of running off on a tangent. You did not come here for that. You just came to see this brow tutorial. I did hear something about waist beads. I have some waist beads, and if you wear the waist beads, they're supposed to be sexy, but then they're also supposed to help you, you know, kind of gauge if you are getting bigger around your middle. Let's just get into it. This feels weird, like. I look at my face. The first product that I'm gonna use is the Benefit. The Benefit Precisely My Brow. And I use the shade five. Now the reason why I like this is because one, it's dual ended, so there's a brush on one side, and then of course, a very very precise um, tip on the other side so that's why I like it the other reason that I like it is because of the color it's not jet black um, because that can be kind of harsh and um, it just gives me the precision that I need to kind of make hair flicks and things like that. Um, now I also did a uh, eyebrow tutorial for people that don't have any eyelashes at all. As you can see, I mean, I do have some eyelashes. They're sparse, but they aren't there. So I did do a, a tutorial for those that have zero eyebrows. So I'll link that card up too in case that applies to you. And then you can use um, a slightly different technique to get that done. So. I want to make this as simple as possible. We're going to start with this brow here. So the first thing that I do, and I'll keep looking up because I want to make sure that I'm in frame, um, is that I just kind of brush it up. Then I'll start here and start marking my line up underneath. And I'll just kind of go on the bottom now I don't want to bring it too far down so I'll stop like if I drew a line I would stop right there and here if I drew a line I would stop right there so I would go straight up so then what I start doing here is going straight up the thing that people mess up on is they make this so heavy you want to make sure that this part is not too heavy because it'll just look really heavy unless you like that look I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't look good on my face, but you may have a face that you can carry it off. But anyway, here I start to follow. Am I sweating? Because y'all know I will sweat in a minute. Oh, not right now. 
Not right now. So anyway, I'll go up here. And I start at the top. I'll start, as you can see, creating the shape that I want because there's no hair there. And I'll start to bring it down and then I'll connect the end. So now I've just made a shape. As you can see, there's no hair there. And then I'll just start to fill it in. Now I did not go that heavy on the inside of my brow. And why? Because I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use this brush because the brush is going to help distribute the product all the way through my brow. And when you do it that way, it really creates a very soft effect for that. So you go in and then I'm just going to use my brush and brush through. Now what I'll do here is take this part and, br and bring it the other way because I really want to soften the inner part of my brow here. I really want that to look soft. So when you're doing this, you don't want to use that much pressure here. You want to use as much, as little pressure as possible. So I have the basic shape there and you can see the difference. All right, so next I'm going to take a concealer brush and I'm using this one. This is the Sedona Lace brush and it's a 941. So it's got a pink tip. And I like it because you can get like really precise on there. You can kind of can you see here. You can see how thin it is. Like when I turn it like that, you can see just how thin it is. So um, for me, I like to use a shade that's about two shades lighter than my actual skin tone. Not too, too, too bright. Um, but just just a shade enough. So here I'm using the Fenty Beauty concealer. Come on. And I'm using the shade 420. I also have the shade 450, which I'm going to use too, but I want to kind of show you the difference in color and why I'm using two different shades. Okay. So 420 is going to go underneath my brow. And what I do is that I'll put it on the back of my hand. I won't just go in. Usually I won't. I'll just use a brush because that gives you a little bit more control. And then I'll just take, take it off the back of my hand here. Like that. And just get it on the tip because, again, this brush is very um, thin. And then I'm going to go in and start to... Um, kind of trace right up underneath my brow and that's what's going to give me that really nice shape. And I'm using, I'm not going straight in here, I'm kind of coming just slightly out. And then I will just pull it down. And then I'll put it all over my lid. You don't have to, but that's just kind of what I do. Put it all over your lid. And whatever is left, you can just kind of bring it in. Whatever is left on the brush. Then you can take a different brush and just kind of buff it out. And this is the Sephora Pro Air Brush. And this is number 57. So it looks like this. Just kind of blend it out like that. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe my brush off. And what I like to do in between, I'll get a um, paper towel and then I'll just use some alcohol. And just spray it just to clean it off, especially if, that's got, if it's got cream product or something like that on there. And then now I'm going to go into um, the other product or the other uh, concealer, the darker colored one. And I'm going to go on top of my brow with that. And the reason why I do that is so that I don't get a halo effect so it doesn't look too bright over my brow. Um, that's what I like to do. I always go a shade darker at the top. A shade darker at the top. So the way you have to do your hand, it's weird. Like for me, I like to go up like this. Oh my God, can you hear my daughter singing in the background? Yeah. 
and I pull it to help blend it out. Then I also go in with that same darker color and come here. Not necessary, but I'm just saying this is what I do. Now, also, this is what I'm doing different that I didn't do before. I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is in the shade four. I got a little bitty one, like, it's teeny tiny because this is the mini size, and I got these from Sephora. I don't know if I mentioned that. I got these from Sephora. Um, so I just wanted to try the miniature one to see if I like it, and I love it, so I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. And this here um, is like a, um, it's a brow volume, it's a fiber gel. I'll put it like that because that's just a lot I can't, voluminizing, is that right? voluminizing fiber gel, that's what it says it is. So this is, um, it's a little lighter than my, eyebrow pencil color it's the eyebrow pencil here is a five so the higher the number the darker the shades get so this is a four so I'm going the other way and this I'll show you up close like oh excuse my nails it looks like that and there are little miniature not a lot but I mean it's enough on there to kind of make a difference in your brow so, so far, I mean, I think the brow's like looking pretty good. Now, I'm just gonna go in with this and go through it. Just kind of go right over them. It helps to kind of put them in place too. Now, after I get done with that, I go in with a light powder and I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm using the color Dark Deep. I go in with that same brush that I used and I'll just kind of set up under there. So that it's not, and just kind of blend out the top. I'll set under there so that it doesn't crease. And that is how I do my brows. So I'm gonna put that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys, that pretty much is it. Um, if you have any questions, or you know, there's some spaces in here that I didn't quite um, explain please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. Um, I'm hoping that I used everything, not used everything, but I'm hoping that I explained everything in a way that was, um, did I just get this all over my hands? Please, please make sure that you clean the back of your hands all over my hands. Um, but yeah, thanks so much guys. Let me zoom you back out. Yeah, thanks so much, guys, for coming to my channel. Um, I've got a couple more to film, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other brow. And I will see you guys in the very next video. As always, thanks, you guys, for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you in a minute.